Hey guys, today I'm going to be setting up my weekly log in my traveler's notebook. Now, my traveler's notebook is the thing that I throw in my purse, that I carry around, that I have my lists on me. Uh, basically everything that I need now when I'm out and about, I use my traveler's notebook. When I'm at home and I'm tracking things and I'm being creative and planning my week, I use my Leuchtschirm bullet journal. So I'm going to show you, I've sort of changed the way that I've done my weeklies in this and I want to show you uh, what I've been doing. Um, I did set this up recently and uh, if you missed that setup video, I'll go be sure to link it down below so you can see how I set this up. But I used the Planner Society kit. This is a traveler's notebook insert, a bullet journal insert, and I can't remember the brand. If I find it, I'll be sure to link it. But this is what last week, the last two weeks looked like. I basically am doing a week on a page and I'm basically just doing um, the important things for that week. And I'm not separating, separating it out by day of the week because I have that in my bullet journal. So if I need to see a broken down by week schedule, I have that in my bullet journal. And I, um, shame alert, but I also use the, uh, calendar on my phone. So if I'm out and about and throwing something down, like if I need to put an appointment down, I put it in my phone first. That way when I get home, I can put it in my bullet journal or in this log. So I'm going to go ahead and set up. I have the 1st through the 7th here and the 8th through the 14th here. So I'm just going to set up the week of the 15th and then the week of the 22nd on here. So I'll just kind of show you what I've been doing. And I do want to be a little bit creative with it. I think this week I used some stickers and things like that. This week I just threw it down. I didn't have time. I just threw it down. So since I have some time, I'm going to see what I can do with setting up these two weeks. So I'm just going to, and you can do this in your bullet journal and not you know, spend all the time. You can literally just write it down. If you don't have time to decorate, um, you know, that's fine. Just get it down. And um, it really has helped me plan out my week and visually see what it is that I need to get done. So I'm going to sort of compare with this um, because this worked really well for me. So um, I'm going to jump into my little Planner Society stickers here and use these because I find myself not using these very often. I thought I had some blue ones. I, oh yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted to use, at least for one of these. These are kind of an iridescent blue. So I'm just kind of going to do it like I did here. So, and these come with two different versions. Where is what I'm looking for? Here we go. And you know, you, if it this setup doesn't work for you, you can modify it and just you know do exactly what you want. That's the beauty of bullet journaling, if you want to see a weekly spread, you can do that. There's no problem. Each week, it doesn't have to be the same. Uh oh, my daughter's waking up. She's going to be hungry. Okay, so then I'm going to do a must do. So basically this is my overall weekly to-do list and most of the time it doesn't really matter what day I get things on my to-do list done. It's just the fact that you're getting them done at some point. Let's see if I can get things down. Give myself a pretty big must-do list and then I'm putting down YouTube and Instagram as well. <clears throat> that way, oops. that way <clears throat> I can see what it, what my goals are for this week and what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. 
Then I'm going to do fitness goals. Dang it, all these keep coming off together. Fitness. And then I'm adding goals onto the end of it. Fitness goals. Zoom in a little. <clears throat> Okay, and then I did currently meal plan and next week. So currently can be, you know, anything that I'm thinking of, sort of a brain dump almost is how I used it last week. Currently, let's meal plan. I have been doing meal planning for my diet. I've been on a diet for four days now. It's going pretty good. I'm just getting used to it. And what was the last one next week? Next week. If I can find it. Next week, here we go. And then I don't need that much you know, for next week, it's just a short. So I kind of just spaced them according to how much I think I would need. So for work, um, you know, just a few little lines for anything that may be coming up. This week I have a nice big area. My must do's, I have a, a decent size to, to make a checklist there. YouTube and Instagram, usually just a few goals or ideas for that week. Fitness goals, just a few for the week. Currently, this is my last week I put do something nice for Jason which is my friend play with Mallory begin organizing the office so those are things that I just thought hey you need to get this done this week but it's not really a must do um, sort of a different category so let's see if I can do this over here and I'm gonna try before my kid wakes all the way up she's just sort of thinking about it right now <clears throat> Let's see. I can make this happen over here. Okay, so we got work. Then I can go back in and um, decorate it if I want. So this week. Okay, must do. Right here, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And you know what? If you don't have these stickers, you can write in, you know, what it is. And I think I did that this week. Yeah, I just wrote in because I was on the go and I just needed um, to get it down. There was a YouTube one on here too. I see Instagram. Facebook. Instagram. These are a little bit older. They're from older kids, so I'm not sure. There's Instagram. I don't see YouTube on here, unless it's... Hmm. So in that case, that just letter that right in there and then let's see if we have fitness and goals yep we do And 
and meal plan. And next week. Okay, so now that I've got those down, I'm going to just throw in some stickers just for fun. And again, this is not something you have to do. I'm just going to scroll through here really quick. Okay, so this is my finished setup for my two weeklies for the 15th through the 21st and then the 22nd through the 28th. I didn't fill all of this in yet because it's next week, so in a few more days, midweek, I will go ahead and fill this part out. So I have everything filled out on this side, and I did go back and check off a few more things on here, and then made sure to push anything that was not done this week. So basically, I'm pushing my tasks. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I have really been enjoying using this traveler's notebook and I will link it down below. I found a very, very similar one on Amazon that I think would be great for people to start, but you don't need to have this whole notebook set up in order to uh, do this. This can be very simple. It doesn't have to be dot grid, any notebook, and you can do this sort of thing. I just find it really easy to track my weeks and see visually what's coming up next week, what my, my goals are for this week, and so on. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!